Investigating the people suspected of selling spice isn't the only issue for the interceptors. They often have to deal with the people who have taken the drug. It can be difficult and often dangerous. Spice, it's, it's horrendous. We get really major effects from it when you're dealing with somebody because they do not know what they're doing. They go into like um, a psychosis, don't they, for like yeah. three days. We went to one, didn't we? Yeah. You remember? And he tried, he tried chucking his missus in bath and then throwing electric heat at him. Can you remember? Yeah. He yeah, just started bit. smoking spice. But yeah, it's, it's awful. It's absolutely bonkers. X-ray Yeah, just seen the uh, activation of uh, the Black Force at Bromo Uniform Hotel again, uh, Chapel Town Road, towards Leeds, uh, which is how the show was going to that. It's early evening, and interceptors A.B. Thickling and Sophie Hawkswell are on the hunt for a suspect motor. It's a um, course that they stopped three days ago, but it's hit cameras a few times tonight. Sergeant Sophie is an interceptor not to be messed with. Outside of work, she's a tiny boxing champion who packs a serious punch. It'll be a car that's probably uninsured, uh, just been used for crime. So I imagine whoever we do find in it, it's probably, unless they've just bought it, it's going to be a wrong But the course is nowhere to be seen, so they call up their search. And a couple of minutes later, Aby spots a commotion on the curbside. I don't know what we've got going on here without hazards on. Oh, it looks like a uh, sample's not that too bad. Yeah, it does for me. Oh, it's falling over, it's not, not being knocked down. We've just got it down. We've called our message. Is it breathing? It's talking to us anyway. Oh, okay. 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 He's not responding. We're just going to pull him up just, just so we can just get him on his side. What's his name? Hi. You don't know. You don't know. He's not responding. Oh, he is speaking. Hello? No. Oh, it looks like I'm going to be fit to be fair. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Medically trained firearms officers arrive, along with an ambulance. It's not an RTC or anything. It appears that he's been swinging the road. He's obviously filed calling him, uh, and then apparently he's passed out. They've seen he a uh, little bit of shakes, and um, he's breathing. Open your eyes first, please, mate. Oh, hey, you with the ambulance. And the police. Hiya, mate. What are we doing on floor? Good try to sit up for us. With the man responding and in the care of paramedics, Sophie and Amy can try and work out what's happened. And they soon spot one possible cause. Oh, Megan. Does that mean it's got uh, vitamins in it? Fish oils. What's your name? Oh, don't be like that, mate. That doesn't sound like a right good name, Matt. Sounds like a terrible name. A search of the man's bag uncovers something else. Oh dear. It looks like spice. Just a couple of bags of... It doesn't smell, so I'm going to guess it's possibly spice. I don't think it's cannabis. But he's going to be in no fit stage to be interviewed or anything like that tonight. Um, so, we'll seize it. Even though they're not 100% sure what it is, the man soon confirms their suspicions. Why do you check my spice? No, not illegal. Well, we don't know what it is, do we? So spice, you know it's spice. Well, I, I don't generally know what it is. Well, the hell if you took my spice? Unfortunately, I have powers. Well, I'm having a good one already. But we have powers to take stuff when we want it, don't we? Well, I can't do that, otherwise I'd be classed as a drug dealer then, wouldn't I? Well, let's just say, let's just say I've taken it because I want to, and you're not getting it back. How about that? Shit. Well, we still need to be like that, is it? He's not a happy chappy, but he's been saved from a far more serious fate. Member of public said that he's walked across the road, and then when he's got to the side road, he's collapsed. Could he collapse, banged his head, had internal bleeding and died? Could he collapse, fallen back onto the road, been run over because it's a dark road, he's got dark clothing on, then he'll be looking at a road death. Uh, he, could, he could end up sagging behind one of the buildings here and then collapsing and dying, and nobody knows he's there. So. Unfortunately, members of the public have come to his rescue, haven't they? Yeah, that's him. Potentially saved his life. The man wasn't charged in relation to possession of a Class B drug. 
but the two bags of spice were seized and later destroyed. He was telling me that I've got no right to take it off him and it's legal. It ain't legal, it's illegal. We just agreed to, agreed to disagree that I've taken it because I'm taking it anyway. It's all in an evening's work for the interceptors. I'd be cottonless. <laughs> I keep up like you. Yeah, yeah, so called friends.